Hello and welcome to yet another video and here's one which I thought I would ever actually do because I always find them really boring when everybody else does them. People keep asking the same questions over and over again and I thought I'd just get all of the questions out in one go. So here are the answers to a lot of things you guys have been asking. Where am I from? I live in a little village called Kirkowen in southwest Scotland, which is in the very, very furthest south part of Scotland that there is. The climate here is very wet and humid. Um, it does get quite warm in the summer, but when I say warm, I only mean 25 degrees C, and in the winter it goes down to about minus five regularly. But that's about it. Am I married? Yes, I am very happily married with three children and have been for nearly five years, I think. Maybe it's four. I've been trimming cow's feet now for just over seven years. It's a very long story, but basically I was um, a farmer's son. My father died when I was 15. My mother remarried when I was about 19, I think, 18 or 19, and she married a hoof trimmer. I was actually away working in hotels and restaurants at the time, but eventually didn't enjoy what I was doing, came back to look after the business, and eventually started hoof trimming after a short stint freeze branding. I don't know David Murray, but I know exactly who you are talking about. He's from Middle Ayrshire, and I believe he's a very nice guy and a great drummer. She thought my father, she thought her father-in-law would hit me because he's not a very nice person, and he kept uh, basically being really rude to her. And one day I collared him and said, "Please stop being so nasty to my sister." So basically, there's a little bit of aggravation there. No, I only trim cow's feet. I have been asked to trim donkey's feet in the past, but they kick too hard, don't know enough about them, and I'm happy doing cow's feet. So, yep, I only trim cow's feet. I record my videos right now. I'm using a GoPro Hero 7. Um, I've got a couple of them, and I use my phone, believe it or not, my Samsung Galaxy S10. The reason I bought the Samsung Galaxy S10 is because the video capabilities on it are pretty awesome. I actually edit almost everything on Premiere Plus CC, which is uh, Adobe Premiere Plus, which is a video editing software site or software program which is run on iMac. Um, I've got a professional iMac desktop, if you like, uh, bought uh, about six months ago just for this job. Also, I use a GoPro selfie stick, I use a telescopic selfie stick, and I use a DJI Mobile 2 gimbal for some of the slower shots. So my wife, when she saw that broken nose, uh, for instance, she just killed herself laughing because she thought it was hilarious. Then she gave me a big cuddle and said, don't worry, it'll be all right. Um, the mountain biking accident was a little bit more scary. Um, she burst into floods of tears when she met me at the hospital. Uh, yeah, I felt really bad about that one, actually. So the difference between white line disease and sand cracks is a sand crack happens in the dorsal wall, so the outer wall horn, if you like, and it is caused by excessive drying, then... Uh, re-moisturizing, drying, re-moisturizing, just like a riverbed and white line disease uh, happens in the outer wall horn, joins the solar horn and goes up into the laminae. So it's not actually in the solar horn and it's not actually in the wall horn, it's in between the two, so it's in the junction. So sand cracks happen to the wall horn, white line disease happens between the wall horn and the solar horn. If I wasn't a hoof trimmer, I would be running restaurants. Um, before I was a hoof trimmer, I ran some fine dining and upper class restaurants in the north of England and the north of Scotland. Actually, on Loch Ness was the last one that I ran. Um, after that, I ran nine coffee shops for a company called Denise's. So if I wasn't hoof trimming right now, I'd probably be running a fine dining restaurant because that is what my other passion is. I love cooking. Yes, I always trim front feet. Well, I say always, 98% of the time probably, I trim front feet. If I don't trim them, I do pick them up and check them. If the cow's in the crush, you might as well pick them up. Um, it's amazing how many times you pick up a foot which looks fine when they're standing in the crush, you pick it up and there's actually an issue which would have become a serious lameness issue. So even if you're not trimming them, pick them up, check that the weight distribution between the two is level and give them a quick model. It only takes a couple of seconds, so you might as well do it. Right, so the big one. Everybody asks me this. Why don't I wash the feet? Well, I'm working with 
electrics. So I've got an electric iPad, grinders, which there are three of, um, there's lights, there's extension leads, and there's obviously the crush itself. So there's electrics everywhere. If I was to wash the feet, um, regardless of how I did it, the feet would then be wet, I would touch them with my gloves, my gloves would touch the grinder, and I would get a shock. Is that just hypothesis? No. That is fact, because trust me, I've done it. When I first started out, I did used to wash all of the feet, but the amount of time involved was unbelievable, and I kept getting electric shocks. Now, it's okay for me to get the odd electric shock. Well, it is and it isn't, but for the cows to get an electric shock, that's not on. They're not my cows. Um, I'm in care of them, and if anything was to happen, it would be on my head, and I'm pretty sure the farmer really, really wouldn't be happy with me. And besides, after the first sweep of this, the grinder, the hoof is almost clean, so I can see what I need to see. Um, if there's something more in depth, like something's got an abscess or um, severe dermatitis, then I do wash the hoofs, but only after I've realized that that is there. When I do wash the hoofs, um, it's only really so that I can apply something topically directly to whatever the lesion is, so the dermatitis or the infection or the ulcer site or whatever it is. It's not to keep the wound clean. As soon as the cow leaves the crush, she's going to be standing in poo or slurry or muck or whatever you want to call it again. If you try and wrap it or bandage it, all that does is act like a big sponge. So it soaks up all that um, pee and urine and dung, soaks it up, then heats it up and creates another infection and creates the perfect environment for dermatitis. So to all the people who keep asking me why I don't wash the feet, there is your answer. Okay. I know this has been a boring video, I really, really do. Thanks for sticking around if you managed to make it to the end, and trust me, normal service will resume as of now. Cheers guys!